my name is chandana bolineni i am working in narayana e techno school which is a very prestigious school it is having many branches all over india but i am from maharashtra nagpur vatoda branch today i would like to teach you a small topic from first lesson of fourth standard plants making and storing their food in today's class we will be focusing mostly on how plants prepare their food it will be very interesting no to know how these plants are making food for all of us so why to waste the time let us start the topic so the green plants they are preparing the food for all of us all other living beings on the earth are dependent on the plants for the food how the plants are preparing the food by using a process called photosynthesis photosynthesis what photo means light what synthesis means to combine so the plants they are making use of sun's energy the energy from the sun and they combine few things to prepare the food that is called as photosynthesis what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process by which plants prepare the food by mixing few things in the presence of sunlight okay we will come to know what are those few things i will explain you one by one but before knowing the photosynthesis you should know parts of a leaf why we should know parts of a leaf to understand photosynthesis why because photosynthesis happens in leaf leaf is called kitchen of the plant leaf is called kitchen of the plant why we are calling it as kitchen because your mom is preparing the food in your kitchen right the same way the main part of the plant where photosynthesis happens is leaf so let us study the parts of a leaf to understand the photosynthesis better okay this is the small tlm i have made this flat green portion of the leaf is called as lamina can you see this flat green portion of the leaf this is called as lamina let me draw it on the board this flat green portion of the leaf okay you can erase this hmm this flat green portion of the leaf is called as lamina what we are calling it as lamina very good now come to this line this is called as midrib what is it called as midrib and this flat portion is called as lamina okay and there are thin lines that is coming from the midrib can you see these thin lines look here all of you this flat green portion we are calling it as lamina and can you see the thick line at the center that is called as midrib and these lines that are on the both sides of midrib they are thin compared to midrib they are called as side veins what are they called as side veins the tip of the leaf is called as apex the tip of the leaf is called as apex this tip portion of the leaf is called as apex okay and now come to this it is called as leaf stalk or petiole can you see this stalk portion this is called as petiole or leaf stalk so the tip of the leaf is called as apex this portion okay and this flat green portion is called as lamina okay this flat green portion and the line that is at the center of the leaf this portion it is called as midrib okay and the side veins these are the side veins that are coming from the midrib okay this is called as leaf stalk with which the leaf is attached to a stem or a branch you understood now come to one more part of the leaf that is called as stomata can you see this tiny pores that are present these are called as stomata what we are calling them as stomata what is the use of this stomata stomata will allow the entry of gases into the leaf for preparing the food the plants require carbon dioxide they take carbon dioxide from the air how this carbon dioxide enters into the leaf through these tiny pores called stomata understood so now you know the parts of a leaf so it will be easy to understand the photosynthesis now 
Let us come to photosynthesis. Thank you. 